You and I, Stein, spent an entire weekend together and all you did was, was work? Well, we had to work on the super scan. Yeah, right. You guys are worse than Yumi and Ulrich. Huh. Hey. Well, it's true. You're always trying to convince us that you're just good friends and all that stuff. <clears throat> By the way, where is Einstein? I don't know. I'm a little worried about him. Ever since he found out that Xana had infected hundreds of supercomputers around the world, he's always at the factory, here in his room, and... Oh, that's him now. Yes, Jeremy. All oh, right, I was beginning to worry. Where are you? Right behind you. You're so silly. Einstein, the comedian? Hmm, you were right to be worried about him. I don't think he's all there. <laughs> Got some good news, Jeremy? Just a little. I finally figured out a way to wipe out Xana. Mm hmm? Huh? Oh. Huh? Are you absolutely sure? A multi-agent system? Yep, that's it. I decided to go over all of Franz Hopper's notes again, as well as the data he sent from the network when he was escaping from Lyoko. And of course, the data you gathered when you were traveling on the skid. And that's when I realized that if we want to get rid of Xana, it's through a system of multi-agents. It sounds pretty dangerous, don't you think? I mean, because Xana himself is a multi-agent system. And don't forget what happened with the Marabunta. Yeah, I lead us right. You know, Frankenstein, that was a pretty creepy invention. Will you stop worrying? I'm not going to launch my program until I'm totally sure it's going to work. Right now, all that I can destroy are two or three mega tanks. On the other hand... Go on, we're listening. Xana made a really big mistake when he teleported William during your last mission to the Ice Sector replica. And the data I found in the tower, was it of any use to you? Was it ever? Thanks to that data, I was able to imagine a program for freeing William. Hmm? You mean for good? You bet for good. And it's so simple. All Alita has to do is get to the supercomputer that corresponds to the Ice Sector replica and run a program at the exact moment that one of you devirtualizes William. Oh, wow. That's simple, all right. Piece of cake. Huh. And you think William's just going to twiddle his thumbs while Alita enters the program? I said that it was simple, but not easy. You forgot one little detail. What if Xana sends us King Kong like he did last time? Who, the Colossus? Think of him as just another one of Xana's monsters that you've got to fight against. <laughs> Maybe we should introduce you to him. Then you'd understand. Hey, fighting happens to be your job. Mine happens to be programming. You all know that. If there's a chance of bringing the real William back, then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah, no reason to wait. Everyone to the factory. <sighs> what? Like now? But they've got tuna casserole, sauerkraut, and sausages for lunch today. You can have lunch tonight. Let's go. Anyone ever tell you eat dinner at night? William! <laughs> Didn't you hear me call you Dunbar? No. I'm sorry, but I don't have a phone. Trying to be clever, huh? I'm not that dumb. If you think you can pull the wool over my ears, you're wrong. Your parents are here to see you. My parents? But who are they? Hey, would you stop acting so stupid, Dunbar? They're waiting for you in the principal's office, so get going. Go on now. I'm certain William will be delighted to see you. He's changed quite a bit, as you'll see, especially since that trip you all went on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What trip? We didn't go on any trip. Ah, yes, there he is now. Come in. <laughs> Come in, I said. Hmm. What's the matter, William? Didn't you hear me tell you to come in? I did, but the door wasn't open. Oh, well, your parents are here. <sighs> Is everything all right, hmm. darling? You seem to be a little out of sorts. That's right, but I never had any sorts to begin with. You were right, he certainly has changed. Hollow web system online. Aelita, I'm sending you the Ice Sector Replica's coordinates. I'm on it, Jeremy. Rotation. Would 
would be? Tuna casserole or sauerkraut and sausages? Uh, you wouldn't by any chance have anything lighter? Sauerkraut's light, you'll see. Uh-huh. So, William, my boy, how's it going? It goes any direction I want it to. Huh? <laughs> you kill me, William. What a cut-up. Here, have some of this. This'll stick to your ribs. I can't eat it if it's on my ribs. Hmm? High-speed acceleration in three seconds. Ah, Mr. and Mrs. Dunbar. Hello, I'm really glad to meet you. You know, that son of yours, he's really quite a piece of work. I'm not just any piece of work. To be specific, I'm a digitally generated random polymorphic energy field controlled by a basic non-evolving behavioral program. Uh, chip off the old block, huh? Well, I'll leave you now. I'm sure you have lots to talk about together, huh? Mm. Your father and I were wondering, William, why you don't call us much at the moment. You were right here in front of me. If I called, you wouldn't be home. Uh, 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 hmm? I've got a visual on the replica. Digital key activated. Good work, Ailita. I'll let you in. Okay, no sign of any activated tower. There's a tower south-southwest of your position. You can dot the skid there. I'm gonna teleport you with Odd. Gotcha. inside the base. That's great. Make it fast. Xana's bound to rear his ugly head pretty soon. Mm-hmm. After you, princess. <laughs> are you trying to tell me he isn't your son? But you are the parents of William Dunbar. Of the real William Dunbar? Our son is a dynamic and rebellious youngster who was expelled from the last school he attended for gluing stickers all over the school, including on the principal's windshield. I don't recall you ever telling me that when you enrolled him here at Caddick. Well, uh, mm. uh... Well, what if I did? That's not the point. Uh, uh, I'm telling you that this child is not my son. Hmm. Well, well, it's true that your son has been behaving somewhat strangely these past few weeks. But I can assure you that this is the one and only William Dunbar we know. Tell me, sir. You said earlier that William had taken some sort of trip. What trip were you referring to? Oh, well, of course, the trip he took overseas with you just before he came down to that terrible flu. What flu? It's crazy. I can't believe we're actually going to bring home the real William. Yeah, but in the meantime, let's hope his clone is keeping out of trouble. Ulrich, uh, I hope that when we set William free, you won't be jealous if he starts hanging around me again. Uh, no, why should I? There's no reason to. After all, we decided that we were just good friends, didn't we? Yumi, Ulrich, sorry to bother you, but speaking of William, the radar shows him coming in dead ahead. Uh-huh, speak of the devil. Hmm. There he is. Try to slow him down. Here come your vehicles. Okay. <laughs> What bothers me most is that Xana is drawing energy from all the replicas, and I'm sure that means trouble. Ailita, Odd, how's it going? We're coming into the main room. Wow! It's a lot more crowded than the last time we were here. Why? What do you see over there? Jeremy, there are dozens of robots in here. 
all lined up like an army waiting for orders. So that could be Xana's secret plan, to use an army of robots to enslave all of mankind. Get to the supercomputer room as fast as you can. We're on our way. Leave Pretty Boy to me. Don't forget, we're just supposed to slow him down. No problem. Conversation, that's for sure. Open up, Grandma! It's Little Red Riding Hood! Uh, pink that is. I'm working on the door. It's scary looking at all those robots standing at attention. It sure is! Hey! Mm. One of them just moved! Where? Which one? Can we ever relax? I was just kidding. Oh! <laughs> Dumbbell! Huh? Hey, one of them just moved! It's not funny this time either. Only it's no joke this time! Hmm? Uh, Einstein, tell us you found the right key, because things are getting kind of weird around here! I feel a storm brewing! Whoa. Last stop, everybody off. but it might immobilize him long enough to devirtualize William.
think it's working, Jeremy. He doesn't seem to be getting anywhere. Fantastic, Jeremy. The Colossus is paralyzed. Hmm. All right, Alita, I'm back to you now. It's about time! Open sesame. Come on, on. No, I'll open them up. Get William home. <laughs> Alita, there's a terminal next door. All right, Jeremy, I'm there. Okay, now listen up. I'm gonna dictate the program. Enter it word for word and we'll be just fine. I'm ready, Jeremy, go ahead. It's just you and me, William. Go easy, Ulrich. Jeremy said we have to wait before we divirtualize William. Sorry, but right now it's him or me. Laser arrow! Hey, Uglies, you don't look so stainless now! Okay, don't go inviting all your pals. I can't entertain everybody. Center, Jeremy. All right, Aelita. Get ready to launch the program. Ulrich, Yumi, when I give you the signal, do you virtualize William? Okay. Yeah. Huh? What's going on around here? Jeremy, the Colossus is breaking free! I know, the multi-agent system doesn't have enough power. Jeremy, the robots are here! Aelita, I was never so scared in my life. Lucky for me, I was divirtualized just before this kid was totally destroyed. Yeah, and what's more, we saved William. I did a pretty good job, didn't I? Uh, um... Mr. and Mrs. Dunbar are 
you're right. There's some really weird things going on at this academy. Huh? There, you see that? Even your own daughter agrees with me. What are you talking about, Elizabeth, dear? Well, at first William was more or less normal, but ever since he started hanging out with Jeremy Belpois' gang, he turned into a real space cowboy. I don't know exactly what they've done to him. What was that? But if you ask me, Belpois is using him as some sort of mini pig. It's guinea pig, dear. Are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure. After all, I am your daughter, so I'm always right. I'd still like to know more about this flu you said he had and that imaginary trip. And the only way to find out is to talk to this, uh, Belpois. This is it. No one's there. Listen, this nonsense has gone on long enough. I'm going to call the authorities. We'll run some tests and see if he's my son or not. Ready, Aelita? Now's the time. Okay. Right now. Please, try to calm down, sir. Ah, oh. There! There! You calm down as well, Jim. What's the matter with you? He was here, and then he wasn't here. He evaporated. But he's still here. Look, Jim. Huh? But I swear, he was here, and then he wasn't here. And now he's here again. Uh, you could use a day or two off. <laughs> As you can see, I'm here. And yes, Dad, this nonsense has gone on long enough. Uh huh? W William? It's true that I haven't been quite myself lately, but I'm fine now, really. Sorry, I worried oh, you. Oh, darling. Huh? You think he can live a normal life after all this? He's gonna have to. Luckily, he can't remember exactly what happened to him, although he does know that he was under Xana's power. Well, if you ask me, I'm gonna miss his clone. He was a lot more fun, at least. Don't say that, Odd. Xana's just lost one of his most dangerous weapons, William. In the meantime, we lost the skid. It'll take months to program another one. I guess we can forget about wiping out other replicas now. And what about those robots mm -hmm. in Siberia? The army that Xana's created to take over the entire world. That's why the only hope we've got of ever beating Xana is my multi-agent system. I'll get back on it tonight. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 